Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? I am back with a quick update, right? So, I bought my first property and I'm actually on the market, right? Well, I'm not in the market, I'm saving up money because I'm going to get back on the market next summer. So this is what I like to do. I just stopped by Nike, got some shoes, little outfit or whatever, right? Okay, cool, on top of that. I like to drive around different neighborhoods when I get a quick chance. So right now we're, we are in Chatham on about 80, 82nd in Langley or whatever the, the name of the street is. So I wanna show you a property real quick, right? Look, man, my truck kinda of big, bro. So I like these duplexes, triplexes. I really like this. I really do, really do, really do. But I'm gonna show you something that I was looking at. This property was roughly 100K, needed some tender love and care, whatever they say, a little update. Pretty much, you can get yourself in there, work it out, some sweat equity. I like to look at the lights, see how, you know, the condition of it. Stop signs, speed bumps, large units. Got some rooms for rent over here. Shit, to be honest, it should be somewhere over here, I think. Oh, here it go. Can't be too. All right, so it should be this one right here. I'm gonna hop out real quick, check her out. Give me a second. So, that'd be stupid. Real quick. Check her out real quick. So this is her. This is the neighborhood. Very, very nice. Looks like somebody's in the first unit. Second unit looks vacant. Can't really remember, but I think upstairs might be a three unit. I'm sorry, three bedroom. Downstairs is a two bedroom. So we gonna, we gonna go in the alley and check that out. I'm also going to, I'm also going to do like a, a screen share and just show you guys what that looks like. So give me one second. like to do i like to just drive around look at the neighborhood see what it has to offer so this is a one way so i can't go through the alley like that let's uh let's bend the block one time so Langley in between 81st and 80th. If I got if I got the name of that street wrong, I'm gonna be a little embarrassed, but I'm gonna ride around again, see. So yeah. Langley 800 block or 8000 block. That duplex boarded up is boarded up. We'll go through the alley really quickly. Now, this is the hardest thing to do to remember which house it is because I definitely don't. Typical Chicago alley, nice garages, 
speed bumps, um, maybe calm wires on the floor, which is always good. That's what I like to do. I'm gonna show some uh, some screenplay of the inside. We're gonna look over the house, the numbers, year, house was born, property taxes. We're gonna take care of all of that. Okay, so we're in the Zillow app now. This is what I like to do. So I'm, in a, I'm a Chicago investor, so go to Zillow. I typically take the time, type in Chicago as such, click on it, bam, you're in the city. You can choose south side, west side, north side, whatever your funds say. Me, <clears throat> I like the south side. So the house I was looking at was in Chatham. So let's just zoom in. Bam, bam, bam. As you see, nothing is loading. Let's turn that Wi-Fi off. <laughs> so we're back in it. Everything is loading up. Let's zoom back in. Scroll down to Chatham. Nope, that's not it. That is her right there. Okay, so now that we're in it, right? Click on it. Bam. Add this to some favorites, right? Click on a few various key tags that you like about this house. So I'm gonna click a couple for you and save it. That's it. Now click on a property, bam, we add it, right? Check this out. So starting from the beginning, this is what you can see, how many days it's been on the market. Now that you click on it, they typically give you pictures first because everybody's very picture savvy. So let's just scroll through the pictures lightly first shows you a map overhead satellite picture you know a little kitchen sometimes they get you kitchen like this i'm assuming this is a living room by all the the traffic marks on the carpet let's go a little bit more maybe a sunroom office i really don't know it has the old wall decor but let's let's go back up real quick okay let me see is this does the sideways work i don't know let me know down below all right forget it so Check this out. Like I said, a little sunroom, a bedroom, part two. Does the zoom in work? Okay, it does. Nice. Okay, okay. Listen, I am learning as we're going. I think this is a main main bedroom or something like that. I'm trying to move around, but I, I can't really zoom in. So, hey, let's keep moving. Bathroom. I don't know about this, but, I mean, for the price, we're going to dive into it. So, hang in there. This is what I love right here. Properties that have sweat equity opportunities built into it. So the garage, I was completely off. I thought I found the right one, but no, I was just, I drove right past it. So, so let's go back to the app, scroll up slowly so you can see the pictures one more time. Okay, so. Now, this is what I love. Look at the price of the house, the estimated monthly payments of the house, how long the house has been on market, how many people view it. You know, um, let me see. Let's look at the description a little bit here. I'm gonna let you guys read that, take the time to check that out. But this is it, guys. This is it right here. You have to find the ugly houses. Bring up the equity. This is it right here. It's close to the metro station. It's right by Cottage Grove, so public transportation as far as the bus. This is the listing agent. So now let's go into some some facts and key features about the house. You know, multifamily. It was built 1919. It says Forest Air. I don't know about that. But it has gas. Um, you know, window AC, Chicago is very normal window AC price per square foot, you know, 36. It says it has a two car garage. Cool. Four bedrooms, two baths, two full baths. Now, basement is unfinished. You'll see that a lot, especially for this price range. You definitely will. Let's click on this uh, listing agent to see, you know, what his, his website looks like. And as you can see, the pictures are a lot better quality. That's very strange. <clears throat> so let's just flick through it really quickly. Cool, cool, 
cool cool so this is the listing agent i'm guessing this is his website you can personally contact them now in the description it said that it had um you know flexible financing options so i'm, I'm assuming you you could talk to the seller i think the seller is quite motivated to get the hell out of this situation so who knows maybe this could be like a seller finance situation i don't know i'll have to talk to him uh this is just some more um details on the various features you know the garage landscaping built over 100 years ago they say tenant one pays everything tenant two pays everything that is great so garage is uh owned by the owner basement is uh full but uh, it says unfinished so I, I remember the parcel number the tax information came from 2019 just to scroll through it so you can see bam this is my favorite part so now at the estimated price of 97k this is how you can compare it to the neighborhood of chatham then compare it to chicago um relatively speaking now chicago's been going crazy chicago is very undervalued people in the city might not agree but chicago is extremely undervalued so this is just a little guesstimation estimation at about a, a 99k house if you put 20 percent down i don't even know if this house is certified for a conventional loan but at 80 percent down it's about 20k this interest rate is quite high my first property i got like a three point three three point four but let's just put three point six guesstimation sake yeah you got to keep it at twenty percent man this shit is not fha so let's do a little bit more let's 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 dive into this deeper we're gonna get into this deeper right let's check out uh property tax because that's man this this is low but you know what cook county is 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 at that percent so that's about right um Mortgage insurance, you put 20% down so you don't got to worry about that. Uh, let's look at utilities. So let's uh, let's add some water. You know, my, my water bill is like, for my building, I pay it all. It's like $170, you know, for three, three months. But let's just put 50 for gas. Let's just throw it over the top, put 80. Um, I have internet in my unit at my property, even though I don't stay there, it's $60. So let's just... Uh, throw that in there let's say you get at t 1000 megabytes per second electric god man my tenants leave lights on just to leave lights on so let's put that at 100 cool it hasn't changed anything let's incorporate that so bam right there look at 860 this is still a lot cheaper than some people's rent you cannot lose you just have to know what you're looking for and the seller is willing to do creative financing so you gotta talk finagle see what it's about let's go through it one more time with the keen eye so okay detail details let's uh look at some pictures bam that is beautiful curbside appearance is beautiful inside listen rip these carpets up rip these carpets up rip these carpets up those curtains are old get rid of them the paint ain't too bad man maybe paint the walls again one time if the wood is beautiful underneath it get it sanded get it polished that's a w that's a win let that be now this i'm not saying hgtv but uh don't count the tops it might got to go. I don't know. Yeah, it might got to go. Yeah, looking at it, it might have to go. I don't know if that if that's wallpaper on the walls, but yeah, they got to go. Get somebody in there to take care of that one time for the one time. Yep. Now, has potential. Has potential. Maybe a little IKEA work. I don't know. Maybe something more quality. Get something at Home Depot. I don't know, but that has to go. Now, listen, check this out. I don't know if you could really see, but you can see where the couch has been, where the TV stand has been, because the traffic marks everywhere else is ridiculous. This carpet has to go. Those curtains have to go. Paint it. If the wood is good, keep the wood. That is popping today. This looks like a sunroom office. I don't know what it is, but hey, get that carpet up. Maybe it could stay like that. Maybe you want to have a carpenter come in, put drywall up. I don't know. This floor has to be re-sanded. But man, it's decent space. The curtains got to go. Paint the walls. This house is ready to go. It says forest heat. That looks like a boiler system to me. Maybe over time get an HVAC system. But listen, that's it, man. That's how you go through it. So until next time, make sure you hit that like button comment down below and just stay tuned we're gonna get at it we're gonna stay positive we're gonna get to this money so until next time stay beautiful peace